hey welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here the next clip coming up will be my happy mail haul and i'm gonna say hey welcome to my channel because that's all i was gonna do today and i was just talking to david this morning i've just been kind of uh, mentally uh, you, you get that way i just i still got things on my mind and um I just felt like I needed some retail therapy in the form of Wanda's. So he um, funded the trip. <laughs> I thought that was very sweet of him. And um, let me tell you first, what happened down there. Now, if you hear something beeping in the background, that's because my phone keeps ringing. It is from private caller, so I can't block it. And it gives you a dial tone and then that beepy noise. Beep, beep, and it will go the whole entire length of your however long your voicemail is. So you have to get it up, hit talk, and then off. So I've just got it off the hook. That's why it's back here making a noise. Either that or get interrupted. Hopefully it's not bothering you. Um, but anyway, when I went to the post office this morning to get my box, I just took my little bag with my wallet in it, my keys, and an extra mask. Because I always forget when I get to the door, and I hate going back to the car. Well, that's what I took to Wanda, so I didn't have my little bag of candy. For when I get the dry mouth, y'all know how it goes. So I was up in there, and it was getting bad. So I asked her, I said, Wanda, do you have like a peppermint, a hard candy? I don't even care if it's a cough drop, just something because of my mouth. She goes, no, here, eat these peaches. <laughs> I said, I'm not eating your lunch. She said, no, I'm not going to eat them. She said, I didn't eat them yesterday. Eat these peaches. Her husband, he's retired. She's retired age, but she still runs the shop. Um... He packs her lunch every single day. He has a big bag, too. She said, he packs me a Jethro lunch. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> she said, he sent them yesterday, and I didn't eat them. She said, I'm not going to eat them today. So have these. So she gave me a little cup of peaches and a, a fork and a spoon. It was already in like a little restaurant pack. She had that. So I stood there, and I was eating those peaches. Well, I had drunk the juice, and... Um, I hadn't tracked it yet. I'll look it up and see. It's, it was not sugar-free, so I'll have to count the whole thing. But that's fine because I needed it. Um, so I drank the juice, and then I started eating the peaches. And one of them hit like a dry spot, and I started coughing. And I was hacking my head off. And then she, here she comes. Here, take this water. So she gave me a bottle of water, too. It was ice cold. She showed me it's one of the pretty good size blue packs that you freeze. It had that stuff ice cold but she said eating those peaches would help her because her husband he said she said he checks her lunch every day when she comes home to make sure she had eat she said he tells me i eat like a bird she said but i'm just not always hungry she says at least this will make him think i ate my peaches <laughs> she ain't big as a minute she she's pretty tall like me but she just ain't big as a minute so <laughs> anyway i just thought that was really sweet that that's the kind of service you get at wanda's so now the things i got some pretty much most are things to redo um you know restyle whatever i've just had this crafter's block for one and a half two weeks something like that i just can't as my mom would say i can't get it together in a pile i just can't my mind that has kept me occupied all this time and now it's just like all of a sudden I'm just, I'm blocked. So I just went in there looking at things that maybe I could redo. So that's that's pretty much the kind of, I have a problem shopping with eye, a certain set of eyes. If I'm looking for one thing, that's like all my eyes are tuned into. It's like I don't see anything else. I, I, so today I had things I could remake eyes on and that's pretty much all i saw <laughs> so except for this the, the first thing i'm gonna show you and this is no order i got this for um sebastian for his candy i have uh over at my little side table where he watches his shows you know there's his shows on my old candle his candy bowl is right there so he can get right to it well he needed one for halloween because you know he's coming so it was a dollar. Isn't that nice for a dollar on both sides? I thought it was. Then, these, I've not decided if I'm going to paint them or not, just to be honest with you. I think they look pretty good like they are. It's um, a set of two. 
there um, you can see one's taller than the other so it'll you know stagger the height and you can just set a candle on it I guess you can see anything on it that you want but um, if you can see the colors it's like brown with a little bit of gold so I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll change it or not but one of them was two dollars and one of them was three dollars I'm guessing it was the small and the big different sizes and then this I'm going to completely redo I'm going to paint the basket. I'm going to leave the candle and do some other ribbon type situation. But I thought that was pretty cute. And it does not have to be Christmas. It could be anything. I think you could paint it. And I think if you make a bow that you don't attach, you can make it any season that you want just by changing the ribbon and the bow. And that was $2. It was $2 for that. This is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I found today. It is a metal basket. I don't, I, I'm just going to wipe it up. I'm not going to do a thing to it. I'm not going to paint it because it is old looking, distressed looking. I already like, I like it. I think it was, it was $2. And I'm going to put some florals in there. So this I'm not messing with. Um, from this, it has a lot of potential. If you can see, I get so close you can't see. But these little, there's a ribbon on top, but see it's got a little spiral thing. These little, they're, they'll pop out. And I can paint this, I can put any, any season I want, I can put in there. They're held together by little springs right there. They're kind of bent. But this is what I'm thinking. I can paint it whatever color. And... I take these out. If I want to change the seasons, I'm thinking whatever little gizmo I find to go in there, I may keep it, I may keep it just neutral and leave it like that. But if I wanted to make it for the seasons, I could put a little piece of Velcro and a little piece of Velcro and whatever I put in it and each season just change them out. So this has tons of potential and it was $3. That, that's a lot of potential for $3. I felt like I was getting my juices. <laughs> my juices was coming back. And this little thing, I'm trying to move stuff up. This little thing was a dollar. It'll fall out. I'm not careful. It's got little blackberries. But I thought this would be cute in the spring when I, because I'll have me a spring tray by then. I'll find one at Wanda's for sure or Goodwill or somewhere. Like the one that I Mod Podged. I'm using it now because it's the fall season colors. So I have, you know, I have it styled with things on it. I have it Halloween now. It's pretty cute. Before I showed you, I had it fall. And then after Halloween, I'll go back to fall. Then I'll go to Christmas. I'll probably put something to cover the bottom so it, you don't see the fall colors. But then I'll make me a spring one. And this will be cute. On, or Even on my tear tray. Clean it up. Paint it. Put some new Excelsior down in there. I thought for a dollar that was a cute little tray accessory. And this is supposed to be, it says, timber tones, ready to paint, natural wood shape. Oh, you can put a music button in it. I knew it had a hole on the back. But I thought that's just a nice standalone um, wood piece to decorate for Christmas. And it was one dollar. These were a dollar. And I got them because... And I'm pretty sure that'll pop off. These, these, they were one dollar. But since I don't have a shop, you know, woodworking, shopping, and like that, you can always use like a round piece of wood for something. So I figured while I saw them there, I might better go ahead and grab them. And this little pillar, I got it to use for the file to put on my um, tray. Oh, that's pretty cute. It was a dollar. And this is coming apart, and it's going to be completely redone. Like, I think that one went there, and that one went there. So it's a little hard thing, and I'm going to repaint it and um, um, re-ribbon it and everything like that. It was, I don't know if she charged me the whole $2 or not. A lot of times when something's, you know, really broken, she sees it, she doesn't. 
So even if she did, that was only two dollars. And I think it'll be really, really cute when I get it fixed. And I found these. They are crocheted squares for an afghan somebody made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them together and use them as a blanket for Christmas decorations in a basket somewhere, you know, in the living room. I thought that'd be pretty, like laying over in a, a, a pretty basket. And um, it was a dollar for those. I thought that was really pretty. This was also a dollar. It is a, just a scarf. Just your everyday knit scarf. But it's going to be a pretty blanket type situation <laughs> in a basket for fall. Don't you know how pretty that will be all up in a basket for the fall? One dollar. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I need to show you that and that together. Then I found this basket. And of course, I'll repaint it and re, you know, whatever. But I like it. Good sturdy wood. I thought it was really, a really nice basket for $2.95. Oh, I thought that said QVC. It said LBC. <laughs> so I thought that was really nice. And I also found another wooden basket. And this one will also redo. Nice little wooden basket for, it was only $2.00. So I like both of those. I don't know if I will paint them for the season or if I'll do them like for any season. Haven't decided yet. And then this I got. I got a um I got something I made that's really, really pretty that David's gonna work on getting it hung up for me. And when he does, I'll take a picture of it and show you. Because I worked on it. I've had it done for about a month now and I just haven't got it hung up. So Sometime this week, he's going to get it hung up for me. So I'm moving. I, I had a, a big like collage picture that I've had for years. This old, one of them old frames, you know, like this big that has the mat that has all the different size picture things in it. So I got that was like some of my favorite pictures of all of us. Well, I repainted it and everything. I mean, it's not nothing special, but it did update it from what it was. So I'm going to move it, but I need to group it with something else and I thought well this would be one good thing I'm going to paint it I don't um those stripes they don't go with not that I have a decor <laughs> but it's too stripy so I'm going to paint this and see it's flat so I can hang it on the wall and then put some florals in that so that was um one dollar I think I don't even know if I saw a price I just picked it up yep it was one dollar see I don't know if you can see let me point can you see that right there? That's how our prices are marked. And if there's not room for a, a mark, one, two, whatever, she'll do dots. So, like, say if this had two dots, it would be two dollars. Isn't that cool? And then finally, this <laughs> is so heavy. This was three dollars, and it is a snowman, a brick. Completely solid brick snowman. He has seen better days. <laughs> he has no hat. I don't care for his face. His scarf is tattered. He has no arms. So, I'm going to remake him into some cute little somebody who's going to sit on my porch. Because he's good and heavy. He's not going to blow over. You know, the wind whips up on that porch. It blows a lot of my stuff over. He's not going anywhere. I'll show you what I get through. Then I found this. She's got all kinds. Of, she's got, like I said, two rows, four um, sides full of just Christmas. Just Christmas. So she had all kind of Christmas stockings and hats and things. He's an odd size. A regular Christmas stocking, you can put the whole thing in there. And then I had some that were smaller that wouldn't fit on his head. So I found this one. It's too big, but I'm going to cut it down to fit. So instead of like some kind of snowman top hat, I'm going to, oh my gosh, I'm going to give him a, like a little hat like that. It won't look like that, but you know what I mean. I can't hold it up to show you any better. So that was the closest I could find that I could cut down to fit his size. So there you have it. That's what I found at Wonders today. I got all that for 36 bucks. I think 
I'll get 36 bucks worth of fun out of it. And I think I'll um, maybe make it to be 36 bucks worth of decoration. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> if I don't get out of this funk, I ain't going to make it into nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this Wanda's haul. Now, if you want to stick around, the next thing coming up is my Happy Mail haul. And when you see what I got, you will see why I had to call it a haul. So stick around. Hey, and welcome to my channel. I am just calling today a Happy Mail haul. Because I'm going to tell you what. Miss Vivian Colmeyer, I call her Viv. I don't know if anybody else in the whole world calls her Viv. But ever since I have been talking to her, She's just a viv to me. <laughs> so she sent me a box and I thought it felt kind of heavy. Well, my gosh, I got it all spread out on my island here. And I thought I better do my Happy Meal video while I got it all spread out before I start hoarding up where it goes. You know what I mean? So the first thing in my card was a Dollar Tree gift card. So you know what that means more shopping in my future then she picked up some things for sebastian because she knows he's coming this week he'll be here all of october rj meets up tomorrow night they've never done a night meet up but his mom has to work and so instead of trying to not get him you know until later rj says no i'll meet you at night <laughs> he wants his boy so he'll he'll be meeting him up tomorrow night to get him i guess maybe i'll get to see him Friday or Saturday, depends on RJ's work schedule. But um, she got him an ATV. He'll love that. Listen, he has got a tub full of toys. And he, lately, past few times he's visited, the only thing he plays with is his cars. He'll pull something out, look at it five minutes later, he's right back to the cars. So he is all about the vehicles. That's what he calls them. He don't call them cars. He calls them vehicles. His vehicles. He has a very... um adult language <laughs> now this one the garbage truck you really have no idea how big he is into garbage trucks he has a big one that he has here that i got him when the truck comes to the yard outside he's all at the door he's got little ones he will be all about the vehicles and then some dinosaur stickers i will give him something and just let him just Stick away. He loves the dinosaurs. He'll be all about that. So thank you for getting him those things. And then she said, there's some other things I can't get to right yet. Every time she, because she crafts. And um, every time she's in the DT, she's like, oh, I think Kim might need that for her stash. <laughs> so I got some Dollar Tree stash. These, I don't think I've ever seen them. They they bend real easy. Um, I don't want to bend it out of shape because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But I'll find some kind of use for those because that is new. I do not have any of those. This little thing is a, and I didn't have one of these either. It's a telescoping magnet. Just last week, week before, I don't know, I was doing some kind of craft. No, last month I think it was, my little pelican scissors broke. The screw came out and it's itty bitty. And I have like a Berber type carpet. And so it is in there somewhere in amongst the because I've not heard it suck up in the vacuum. I'll take this in now. I'm going to run it around. Because I saved the scissor part. Because they're pointing. And you never know when you might need to poke something. So I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to see if I can find my screw. So you did good. Then who doesn't need scissors in their supply? You always need scissors. Some of these wooden craft cubes. Oh, am I blurring y'all? For just any kind of little thing. And then she must have heard me say the other day I was having trouble finding jute at my store. So I got jute and jute. <laughs> I think I will be set on jute for a while. Jute is a crafter's dream. We use it on everything. Wrap things, bows, you, you name it. Then these are not from the Dollar Tree. These are peanut butter... Yep, the new um, Built Bar. I have not tried those, so it's the peanut butter. And she's got the point on there for me, too. It's four points. So I look forward to trying one of those. Then these are some little cookies that she said me and Sebastian can share. And she put the points on them, too. 
little um that's upside down mini alphabet cookies and mini chocolate chip cookies they're like five and six points so if me and him share a bag i'll just get a couple points worth and that that'll be um that'll be just fine and then these these are hard to find too these specific um paint brushes they're very hard to come by because i think when they're put on the shelf they're snatched up because these are like the best paint brushes in the world these are better than the ones i got at hobby lobby so you can never have enough of these either then i'm gonna switch y'all um i'm gonna switch you around a little bit okay <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> these ah, the lily's pumpkin spice flavored bacon chips it says my walmart's has them but they are not in stock so i don't know what i'm putting these in but you know something's coming up with that then two of the um plaques from the dollar tree if i get a hold of them two of the um craft plaques do something with those then this is the perfect um season orange jute perfect season for october and november i'll definitely use something uh, with that and then two of the um Pocky dot ribbons. These are very popular. I don't have any of these. The black and the red. Um, burlap ribbon. And then, oh, I missed something back here. She's an unstoppable force. You know, a lot of times we'll buy the frames, the little pictures and things that we um, DIY. We change them around. I won't DIY this. I'm going to put that above my desk because I changed where I had Mama's sewing machine. It's in a wood cake, you know, table. You can open it up and I have like a, a wooden desk blotter on top of it so it makes a perfect desk and I set myself up a desk in there. Well, above it is my Led Zeppelin poster, <laughs> but I have a nice blank spot below to put stuff. So I will hang that right there for me to see. And this, um, and she knows I love the notepads. Y'all know I love the notepads. You totally got this. That will go over there at my place too. And then finally, these um, napkins, because you know, well, I'll show you this side. This side, aren't those pretty? There we go, aren't those pretty? And then these, isn't that, oh, isn't that gorgeous? She knows I Mod Podge onto baskets and different things. Those will be gorgeous, especially that one right there. Both of them will be gorgeous on a basket. I'm rattling, making noise. For the spring especially. So, I needed some new napkins in my stash because I don't have, I don't have any exciting ones. <laughs> Dollar Tree doesn't really come out with exciting napkins. So, if I don't go um, specifically looking for any. I don't have anything cool. <laughs> so, thank you for those. Let, let me um, turn my little head around. Okay, I cut away because y'all didn't need to see the back of my head. It probably got the bed head all walked up on the back. Listen, I went to the post office. I didn't care. I got that brush. I just went like that. I didn't look in the mirror. I didn't see there was a, the cowlick was, you know, whopped up nothing. So, <laughs> you said I had a package and I was excited. I went to get my package. So, thank you, Miss Vivian, Viv, for all these goodies. I appreciate it. Listen, y'all spoil me. Y'all just too good to me. Hmm. Thank you again. I really do appreciate it. I act so animated because that's who I am, but I really do appreciate it. It's very thoughtful when you all send me gifts and cards. It's just, it's just, it's unnecessary, but it is so appreciated and it gets me so excited. That's why I like to share it. I'm not sharing it to say, oh, look what I got. You have to send me something too. It's no, I just get so excited that I want to share the, the goodies that I got. So anyway, thanks again and thank y'all for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for weigh-in. My fingers are crossed because I lost when I was at the doctor yesterday. But my skills at home, I'm just maintaining. And I have stayed within my points. So I'm going to be a little bit salty tomorrow if I don't lose weight. <laughs> I needed a pre-weigh-in goodie bag to get me in a, a good mood. So I will see you tomorrow on my weigh-in.